Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Novaspare Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today I'm gonna to be showing you five useless commands for Linux. So well, let's get started. Now I'm still quite under the weather right now. So every time when I try to finish a sentence, you might hear me like cough or try to cough. That's just because I am still under the weather. So I'm not producing any like extremely quality content right now. Anyway, for now, I do have these five commands that I do run on Linux sometimes that are completely pointless, but it's pretty fun to run. So let's check it out. Now these are all terminal commands. So we're gonna pop into our terminal over here. The first one I actually sometimes use in coding is called figlet. So sudo app install figlet. And what figlet does, it allows you to run uh, ASCII art or ASCII text. So I'm gonna do figlet hello world and it'll actually print that out. Sometimes when I use coding, I would actually create or generate this through figlet and just post it in my shell command or uh, shell script. Uh, that's one command. All right, the next one I have that is also completely useless is called C matrix. You guys might know this sudo app install c matrix and what this basically does is gives you the matrix screen so c matrix and it just runs down like a matrix screen so i could use this as a screensaver sometimes i just run this command in terminal because it looks cool but yeah it that's basically what it does now the next one i find pretty interesting um you could actually use this in movies and i've seen it used in movies before and it's called hollywood so sudo app install hollywood and what this does is basically generates your screen this works better in terminal itself not just like a terminal emulator but in terminal itself, let me make this a little bit bigger. It installs a bunch of programs ahead of time. So it, it, you could actually use these programs like uh, Screen or BYOBU or something like that. Bring your own bash. Yeah, anyway. So once you type in Hollywood, it actually creates the background illusion of you coding. Like you, like you could see right now, this actually works better in general terminal, but it does show like a lot of stuff going on in the background. And as if you're playing a movie or you're trying to film a movie, you could actually use this in the background. It looks like you're doing a lot of cool stuff. And that's Hollywood. Uh, it does mess with my bash a little. It changes all the colors around because it actually interfaces with the entire bash. So Hollywood is a really cool thing that you, if you want to try to impress your friends or just have something running in the background. Now, another thing, since we are in the holidays, um, a fireplace, our ASCII fireplace is pretty cool. So what you could do is sudo app install lib aa bin, and that gives you a command called aa fire, which gives you your fireplace. There's some settings that you could play around with this, but yeah, it's an ASCII fireplace. Now the last one I actually use for scientific reasons, but it's called rig. sudo app install rig. What this does, once you type rig, it just gives you random generated information from anything. So you just type rig again, it's completely different. Um, yeah, this is a pretty interesting one. If you just need some information or a street name or something like that, you need to come up, just type in rig, you know, just give you the information that you need. Now we're not done yet. I still got three more, but it's not technically commands um, of things I wanna show you, which we run through Telnet. So the first one I have, if you have Telnet installed is telehack.com. This one is really cool because um, if you remember back in the day, you could actually watch Star Wars in your command prompt or your CLI. Um, they got rid of that, but now you could actually get it back going through Telehack. Now they have a few things in here. So the commands you can follow is uh, 2048, uh, a clock if you wanted to, but most notably that I would use is Star Wars. So if you wanted to watch Star Wars again from your terminal, you can go through this Telnet session and play the whole Star Wars movie again through your Telnet. It's really cool. Now, I'm gonna drop out of this. And if you wanna see other stuff, so I could just go back and telehack. And if I wanted to do something like clock, I would just show a clock in terminal. 
play around with that. There's a few commands that you could play with, but yeah, that's basically what that telnet does. Now, there's another one that I wanted to show you, which is telnetmapscuzzy.net. Oh, not dot net, sorry, dot me. Uh, this basically just shows your world map um, in ASCII. And you can move to that location. It's all in your terminal. So if you actually needed to know where you like a place, uh, this is what you could do. But it's, it's just a free, pretty fun command that I like to use before. There's other things that you could do. I'm not too familiar with it. But yeah, you could change some stuff around. If you need this to run in your background, you could do this as well. I'm going to close that. And last but not least, Telnet Free Chess. Dot org and now you could actually play free chess meanwhile you could actually buy you know download a free chess game on your linux so i don't really play around with this but this is something that i've used before back in the past to test out a little device or something like that that i need to get online but uh, if you're not a registered player you could just make your unique id and play computer so that is it for me guys um i know it's a short video it was just showing you well technically five commands for linux and three telnet sessions uh in this video on what you can do if you're bored or basically useless commands